one of my most asked questions how many locks do you have what's your lock count i have a two-headed lock right here i feel like if i were to give an estimate of how many locks i have i probably have i want all three oh ashley hey oh ashley hey Hey y'all, it's your girl, it's Shay Shay, back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a lock count for my second set of locks. Okay, y'all? This is one of my most asked questions. How many locks do you have? What's your lock count? Y'all love to ask me this question. And to let you know, I just hit a year locked in September. I counted my locks one time when my hair was really short before I added my lock extensions. If you didn't know, I do have lock extensions. I have a bunch of videos on my channel like of me installing the lock extensions extensions me washing the lock extensions also me dyeing my hair for the first time with the lock extensions in i have a few videos on my channel already if you do want to check that out before i added the lock extensions before i dyed my hair when my hair was super short i did do a lock count but i never posted it because first of all i didn't even know if i counted right i didn't really like the video and second since then i have combined so many locks like so many locks have been combined so my lock count dropped i would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up subscribe down below to join the family and without further ado let's hop into the video so y'all i have combined so many locks during this set so if you watched like my initial video of where i went to go get my locks installed like where i went to go get the comb coils with my loctician girl i told her i was like i want about 80 locks because in my first set of locks i wanted about 100 and i do have a lock count for my first set already on my channel so if you want to check that out i'll put it right here also put it down in the description box if you do want to check that video out i had a lot more locks than i do in this set so my locks are a lot thicker this time around i have pretty thick hair in general as you can see like a lot of my locks are very thick and i feel like once i dyed my hair you can definitely see a little bit more um, of the demarcation of where the lock extension is because the lock extension is slightly different from my hair but for the most part it looks pretty natural like girl nobody ever clocks me unless they already know unless i told them unless they like watch my videos and watch my channel and stuff like nobody knows I get compliments on my locks nobody says anything but yeah so i did tell her that i wanted around 80 locks and when i counted i think i had less than 90 locks so it definitely was in the 80 range but since then i have combined a lot of locks like this whole back row of my hair recently like you can literally see i have a two-headed lock right here i combined a lot of locks i combined a lot of them in the front so some of these up here like these bigger ones this is two locks and i know it's hella thin but it's like my hair was literally about to snap off this right right here is two locks i feel like you could tell a little bit more just because like you see how the parting is a little bit off right there i feel like if i were to give an estimate of how many locks i have i probably have anywhere between like the high 70s or like the low 80s that's what i think it's gonna be because i feel like i had less than 90 locks the last time i counted which was months ago yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and start counting my locks i'm excited to see how many locks i have because y'all i don't even know how many i have and i do really like the thickness of my locks sometimes i kind of hate it because i feel like they're a little bit too thick but also like i just love the volume that i have like when i don't have a retwist my hair is a little bit more flat but like look at the volume let me go get some hair ties and then we'll get into counting my locks i'm just gonna separate my hair into four sections and then i'll kind of just keep a running number the back of my head is a lot thinner than the front which is why so many of the locks back here had to get combined because girl they were thin and as you can see i do have a lot of shorter locks it's just because the lock extensions fell out and i did not feel like reattaching them so if you see any shorter locks around my head those are like my natural locks without any extension attached to them so this is the length of my um natural lock and then this is the length of the lock extension one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 
75, 76, 77, 78, 79. I have 79 locks. I kind of guessed it because I was like, it's either going to be high 70s or low 80s because I started off with around, if I can remember, like honestly, I'm going to pull up the video and like put the number up right here and maybe like some clips of the, the end of that video just so y'all can see what I started with um, because like I said, I combined a lot of locks. As you can see by the title of this video today, I'm going to be doing my my lock count y'all y'all have been asking me how many locks i have since day one i am now six months y'all and sorry to keep y'all waiting 71 72 75 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. 92 locks, y'all. <laughs> when I went in there, I asked her for about 80 locks. Recently, I combined the entire back row of my locks because they were so thin. I had a lock extension that fell out and my lock was so thin that I combed it out and restarted. Like, But my hair looks so long, so thick, and the lock extensions gave me so much confidence and I'm here for it. I'm really here for it. Like, I don't really care what anybody has to say. Like, I made the decision. I was really scared to like tell everybody that I made it like I was gonna make the decision regardless because I knew that for me and my log journey like I needed to do it but um I definitely was scared of the response that I was gonna get from the lock community it's a slightly bigger platform on here I was like people are definitely gonna be judgmental people are gonna say things that I don't want to hear but honestly majority of my comments were positive majority of the comments and the feedback that I get on this channel is super positive like I don't feel like I put out any negativity on this channel every now and then I will get somebody who has a little attitude or a little hate or here and there but like you're gonna experience that if you're posting online but here on youtube i have experienced some of the most uplifting like just nice comments and nice people and i really do appreciate y'all for always being so nice i can't say the same thing for instagram like when i was posting reels consistently in the beginning of my journey when my hair was like super puffy not mature like people were commenting really mean things on my reels the ones that got a lot of views the ones that were like in the 200 300k view range like obviously it did not reach my target audience it was reaching other people it's an instagram reel like literally anybody can come across it and people were saying stuff about my hair like you know being mean being rude and mind you it was a lot of black people which i thought was a little bit weird but you know black community hates on people who wear their natural hair so i digress we don't have to get into that topic right now but if y'all do want a video on that i can get into it because i've been wearing my natural hair since i was a sophomore in high school so it has been close to 10 years it's been close to 10 years since i've um had my natural hair four to five years since i I've been locked because this is my second lock journey i almost hit two years in my last one and i just hit a year in september so it's been a year and a couple months almost a year and a half with this set of locks so yeah i've been wearing my natural hair for almost 10 years i have a lot of stories i have a lot um of things that mostly black people say like yes non-black people will come up to you and be weird with the microaggressions trying to touch your hair saying weird things about you changing your hair up and all that trying to touch it and do all that weird stuff but most of the hatefulness comes from black people and i think that's weird i think that needs to be cut i feel like as black people we should be uplifting each other having like a kinkier texture like you do experience a little bit more like texturism colorism all of that being dark skin with like a kinkier texture of locks like yes i experience a lot of weirdness from black people but like i said that is a whole nother video a whole nother topic i do want to give y'all a little hair 360 because obviously i have not done a lock update since i started my lock extension since i hit my one year that was in september so All right, y'all, you have made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. Since you have made it here, go ahead and comment down below this emoji. Just know you are a real one for making it all the way through here. Also, since you decided to stick around with me for this long, you might as well go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. I'm gonna put it right here for you guys. Go ahead and follow my Instagram. I do post a lot more often on there, pictures, reels, story posts, all that, if you wanna keep up with me a little bit more on a consistent basis. And yes, I would like to be more consistent on YouTube. So this year, mark my words, y'all, I do wanna be a little bit more consistent on YouTube. I have a 
lot of different ideas. I have videos filmed already that just need to be edited and posted. So y'all see a girl a little bit more this year. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below to join the family. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.